Introducing Design Lab from Ryonet. Design Lab is the best of breed Corel Draw design plugin for the apparel decoration industry. Design Lab features color management, color separation, design effects, text replacement, comps, model comps, marketing materials, clip arts, art packs, all kinds of features and functions that will enable intermediate, beginner, and experienced users of Corel Draw to expedite their workflow and start designing high end professional t shirt designs and graphics in minutes. Beyond that, You'll be able to color separate, generate your white bases, do color management in seconds, and create professional marketing materials and designs on the fly, literally in minutes. And we'll see that in this video session. To get started here, we'll take a look at some of the art assets that are available with the system. First thing we'll look at is art packs. Art packs have been set up as packs of art that you load when you're working on a design based on a theme, as opposed to trying to sift your way through clip art, finding individual pieces of clip art. Art packs give you the ability to load a number of pieces of art relating to a theme. For example, let's say you're working on a snake design. Then you could simply double click here on the snake pack and that would instantly load a number of different snake graphics into your CorelDRAW workspace and then you could use these in your design process to see what different looks you could achieve with the different pieces of art. We'll zoom in here and take a look at the quality of this vector. This is some hand-drawn looking vector here. Very high-end, good quality, all set up as spot colors, easy to color, easy to color separate, easy to color manage in CorelDRAW. Go ahead and zoom out and we'll delete this. Next thing I want to look at here is clip art. We'll be able to look at your clip art based on your categories. Actually browse your clip art through categories, also search. And then you can scroll down through your clip art preview here. To load a piece of clip art, you need to simply select that and click on import selected and that will bring that directly into your workspace as you can see there. Now I'll go ahead and delete that. Next thing we have is sales tools got a number of different model comps available here and you can use these and we'll also load this system up with flyers, pre-made flyer templates with our models that you can customize and deliver to your clients for your marketing purposes. But we'll go ahead and double click here on this model and take a look at this comp. Now these types of comps you won't find anywhere else in the industry. Shot with live models. Go ahead and ungroup this and you can see here on the top of the graphic I've got the shading from the t-shirt. I'll hit Control Z to move that back then I'll hold down Alt, click down one time and I'll actually have selected the t-shirt. And You'll notice that if I right click in my color palette over here in Corel Draw, I can change the color of the t-shirt. So I'm also now able to manage the color of the t-shirt and then set up comps. I can import my template or my graphics here and then set up this comp to send it to a potential client or customer or hand out flyers in an event or what have you. After sales tools here we have our templates go ahead and set up a new graphic here and then I'll bring in another template here. Now these are set up as full front so this is set up really to be on a 13 by 19 page. Go ahead click off here I'm going to change my page size to 13 by 19. Go ahead and hit enter and now I've got this set up basically the size it would be on my film. Now once I've got a template selected let's say I want to customize this I don't want to go through clicking on everything I want to do that really easy. The only thing I want to change is my text. So I simply go to text swap It'll take that just a minute to load all of my fonts in CorelDRAW. I've got about 600 fonts on my system, so TechSwap will take just a minute to load that. Let's say I want to make this Wildcats Girls Soccer. All I need to do is come through here and click on the soccer text. Come down here and enter Girls Soccer. And then simply click on Apply. Now I could change my Wildcats to something else if I wanted to also. Now once I've set up this design, let's say I want to add some effects to this. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup everything here. And we're just going through the basics of the system. There's a lot of features and functionality. You need to get into full training to really see how all of this works. Now I missed soccer right here one time. I didn't have that selected. I want to change that too. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply. And that will change that also. Let's say I want to add some effects to my girl soccer text here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add some effects to this. I'm going to change this. I'm going to duplicate this top soccer that I've got set up over here, down here in the bottom. I'm going to change this and fill this with white. So I've got just white there, and this here doesn't have any outline or anything on it. I'm going to go to effects because I've got a whole bunch of texture effects, and I could apply a texture effect to this. But I'm going to go with a general effect, and I'm going to go with crack over, or let's see, crack splash. I'll come down through here. Hundreds of textures and pre-built automated effects you can add to your designs literally instantaneously working with the system. I'm going to go with rust streaks here. Now I want this set up to a certain size but you'll see how we get this set up here. I'm going to zoom out, bring this over to one side. This is actually seven inches wide. 
that'll be fine. I'm going to zoom in here and we're going to see how this system auto generates effects in Corel Draw. I'm going to click on Apply Current Effect. And you can see we've got our effect generated automatically in Corel Draw. Now, this effect is set up as monochrome bitmaps, very powerful in Corel Draw. And they also have spot color management, so you can get that really soft look that you see with the affliction and the designs that we're seeing on the retail shelves nowadays in the malls. Now, once this is set up, what I want to do is take this with its effect and just put it back on my template. So I'll just go ahead and bring this right over and just line it up on my graphic over here and just bring that back in. I could select and hit CE here too also. So now I've got a nice effect set up for my girl soccer text. I might want to put an effect also up here in the Wildcats, but for now, for the sake of the video, we won't bother with that. Now once I've set this actual design up, let's say I want to get it to a client, all I need to do is copy that. So I'll just come up here and copy. Let Corel copy that. Now that's a high-end template. It takes just a second to process that in draw. The next thing I want to do is go back to my model comp here go ahead and maximize that and paste that back in then I can go ahead and resize this so it'll fit on the front of my garment here bring that up on my t-shirt right there and you'll see here I've gone just in about two minutes I've opened the design customized it and set it up on a professional beautiful model comp that I could pass off to a client or set up for a marketing or maybe some flyers that I want to take to an event. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. We're going to take a look at our color management abilities here in the design lab. Here's our actual graphic that we were just working on. And this graphic has a number of different colors and I'll go ahead and maximize my design lab. I want to go to my separations here. I want to go to color management and the first thing I want to do is evaluate how many different colors am I dealing with here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lasso and make sure I've got everything selected click on create palette then I'm going to click on show color names I can see I've got a black that must have come from my monochrome I've got some Pantone colors here and I've got some different whites so I've got hexachrome black Pantone 432 I got a CMYK black and I've got a couple of different whites well I want to get this design down to two colors what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my white and my black I don't want to have four colors I don't want a two color design going to come down here and click on one click conversion and that's going to convert all of those objects and there are literally hundreds of objects go through and change everything to those two colors and you can see I did that without losing much of my color detail now once I've set this up what I want to do is click off here go and click on here and see what this color is 100% Pantone hexachrome black 100% Pantone black C so what I want to do is in that conversion I got a Pantone hexachrome black and I got a Pantone black C. So what I want to do is take this object, I want to go back here to this Pantone hexachrome black 6, select everything and replace this with the Pantone, let's see I've got a Pantone hexachrome black, I want to replace that with the Pantone black 6. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace on that. I want to click fill and outline because I want to take that color down. I'm going to come down here Go back up to the top and I want to go to my Pantone Black 6C and select OK. We'll go through here and that will get rid of that so we don't have two blacks. We've got all one black set up here. So now I've got this down to two colors. Instead of going through clicking on things and trying to change them, I let my color separations and my color management do that for me. Then I'm going to go to my color separations here. The next thing I want to do is I want to generate an underbase and I want to create my color separation. So I'll come down here, I've got my generate under base selected and I'm going to go ahead and click on generate color separations and let Design Lab do my separations and my white base formula. What's that going to do for me? That's going to eliminate my chances of human error in my white base or in my color separations. And it'll be very easy for me to go through and preview my color separations, burn, excuse me, print out my films and burn my screens without having to worry about production errors and having errors in my films and wasting film or wasting time with my inkjet, burning my screens and setting up and rest registering my job. And here you can see we've got our white base. We've got our Pantone trans white here. And then as we come back here one more, we've got our Pantone black 6C. And then back on page one, we have our original graphic. And we always keep a backup of our original graphic on page one. So we've gone through a couple of the features and functions available 
in the new design lab from Ryanet. Look for more information coming out shortly and thank you for taking time to preview our introduction demo video for the new design lab from Ryanet.